1160 BC. Haran, a city in the south of Babylon. of mothers, goddess of kindness, goddess of birth and fertility, heal this baby and make happy a worried mother, great Ishtar. Her mother takes a vow to bring you valuable offerings. to the great Ishtar to keep your baby alive and she has answered my prayer. Go forth and raise your child in a way that ensures that she will be a follower of the great Ishtar. I am grateful to you and the great Ishtar. Praise be the benevolent Ishtar. I don't know how to thank you. My baby was dying and you brought her back to life. Our baby will be healed like hers was. Ishtar is kind and mighty. She will certainly heal. That's what I believe. Let's approach. What is the matter with you? You are superior to angels, yet you prostrate to your own makings. The whole universe obeys man, and yet you continue to bow your heads to the lifeless stone. That's your opinion. You're insulting our gods for no reason. These are not my words. I am the messenger of God to tell you of his book. This is the holy book revealed to my grandfather, Prophet Abraham. I am a follower of his religion and the propagator of this book. They are not my words. Is it written in that heavenly book to insult our gods? I'm not insulting, only asking. If you know, give me an answer. If not, accept what I tell you. And I ask you, did the statues in the Ishtar temple create you? Or was it you who created them? Does Ishtar have power over you? Or you over Ishtar? Does Ishtar rule you? Or if you Ishtar rule Ishtar? an unable and incompetent stone, how did she heal my child? He's right! We saw it! He speaks the truth! I saw Ishtar kill his child with my own eyes. The Omnipotent Lord heard your prayers and healed your baby. Not Ishtar, it was God. Although you took refuge in a goddess and sought help from her, it was the Lord Omniscient who was aware of his servants and had mercy upon you and your baby. You have sight but not insight. Therefore, you saw Ishtar not the real healer, 
Jacob is saying that we must stop worshipping our gods and instead worship his. Am I not right? What have our gods done for us that we might expect more from yours? I'm calling on you to worship the unequaled god. The god of all and the universe. How can we know your god is superior to ours? What if you and your god are after gaining profit for yourself like the priests in the Ishtar temple? You all know that I work for Laban as a shepherd, and I have nothing of my own. Have I ever asked you for anything in return? Have you ever seen anything of me but working hard as a shepherd? What if you ask for something in the future? You have no power now. You'll be just as bad as the priests. You are all alike. Once you gain power, you'll fill your stomach and make your own treasure. I think you're justified. You lost your only child to sickness, and nobody helped you. Neither Esther the sorceress, nor Ishtar the goddess of the temple. You are justified not to worship any god. I don't care about the incapable Ishtar. I'm talking to your unseen god. We have suffered enough from the stone gods of the temple. We can't bear another god. The temple officers are coming. The temple officers! Perez, run! Hurry! He went that way. Go! Arrest him! Don't let him escape! He didn't do anything! Let him be! Were you not the son-in-law of Governor Laban, I'd punish you severely. I'm not afraid of you or the Temple's officers. Disperse! Don't listen to Jacob's blasphemy. Don't you see? This blasphemy has caused famine in Haran. He has caused it! He's right! Let's go before Ishtar curses us! Let's go! If it doesn't rain soon, all the crops in Haran will be destroyed. I pray to God to bless this city with rain. What's going on over there, Father? It's an old custom of the people of Haran. They throw Ishtar's enemies into the fire by catapult. Shepherd, the nephew of Laban, the governor. I breathe! Please have mercy! This is punishment for blasphemy! People, help me! I'm innocent! He must be punished!
Perez is the enemy of Ishtar. He has attacked Ishtar with stones and called her an inefficient and incapable goddess. According to the old tradition of the people of Haran, those who insult the great goddess Ishtar shall be thrown into the fire by catapult. is his blood money. I will pay it. You will pay it? No. He himself is an enemy of Ishtar. <laughs> you are an enemy of Ishtar. You must pay your blood money first. Then arrest me. Throwing me into the fire would be upholding our family's tradition. My grandfather, Abraham, was thrown into the fire on the orders of Nimrod. You haven't been arrested so far because of the governor. Because you're both his son-in-law and nephew. So people close to the governor and to the authorities can insult the gods and not be punished. Arrest him and throw him into fire just like his grandfather. Leave me alone! Let go! Let go! What's going on here? <laughs> Let go of him. And free the accused as well. Fares must be punished. When Jacob undertakes to pay his blood money, you have no right to punish him. You mustn't release him. Jacob, you must pay 500 dinars for Ferez's blood money. That is no problem. I will pay it. May God bless you, my good Uncle Laban. How long must I watch you so you don't make a mistake? doing thank you I'll work for you until I've paid all the money back I promise I promise <laughs> you saved his life you saved his life come let's go
He is a good man. He works hard all the time. Ishtar has been receiving sacrifice from the people of Haran and Babylon for many years. If your father Laban hadn't helped us, we'd both have been burnt to death. Because of his survival, Ferez must leave worshipping Ishtar and become a monotheist. He already has, Rachel. He's become a monotheist since he was rescued. When will our little traveler be born? Soon, Prophet of God. It will be soon. I've been waiting for a baby from you for many years. If God wills it, this waiting will end very soon. Greetings to you and your people. Greetings, Jacob the Shepherd. I want to thank you. You're taking offerings to Ishtar Temple. We must make the gods happy, or there'll be no rain this year. Do you not think that you need those dates more than the gods? Some people have enraged the gods by insulting them, but we must pay for it. Are you certain that it rains by the will of the cold, stony statues in Ishtar Temple? Your blasphemy enraged them so much that he took away rainy clouds from Haran's sky. Do not insult the gods, Jacob. Why do you oppress yourselves? and leave the God Almighty and worship the cold, weak idols instead? Why don't you give warmth to your withered heart by the light of God's faith? with the blood of your enemies. May you save this land from drought and bless Haran with your reign of mercy. O oh, great Ishtar, I purify your temple with the blood of your enemies. May you save this land from drought and bless Haran with your reign of mercy. Excellency, as usual, he stood in front of the temple and insulted our gods. Mm. He also talked to some people, but I didn't hear what he said. Oh, great Ishtar. Jacob will not stop this. May you save this land from drought and bless Haran with your reign of mercy, mm. oh, great Ishtar. Jacob is started again. May the gods curse him and his blasphemy. What are we to do with him? Summon Laban here. I shall think of something. Summon Laban here, quickly. Excellency, the High Priest of Ishtar's Temple has invited you to meet him. Is it important? Yes, Governor. Stop that! If you steal one more time, I will have you flogged to death! I promise I will never steal again! Release him! 
Come with me. Seemingly, it is about Jacob, the shepherd. What Jacob does is his own business. I do not account for it. He speaks against the gods. It's the priest's duty to convince him. Why do you bother me if you can't convince him? God of gods, the great Ishtar is wrathful. I see famine, drought, and death for people of Adam. Excellency, wait here. I'll tell the high priest. Here, here. They enraged Ishtar. Ishtar will not tolerate insult. They enraged Ishtar. The ones who insulted gods will be punished soon. The great Ishtar wants sacrifice. Laban, why don't you stop your nephew from blaspheming? You are responsible for the people's faith. Give him a good answer. I am the governor, not a priest. But he is your nephew and your daughter's husband. I am responsible for the calm and security in Harry. I'm not responsible for what my nephew does. That's why you must quiet him. He has disrupted the calm in Harlem. You must return. The calm. Famine will soon strike Harlem. And Jacob is the cause of the catastrophe. How can he have been the cause of blessing and the increasing of my herd so far? And also the cause of famine and misery in Harlem. Because Jacob blasphemes the gods now. He's never believed in Babylonian gods. Why in the past? In the past, he hid his beliefs. And now he expresses them. He openly insults Ishtar in the public. You must silence him. I must. Yes, you must. Why do you think the Babylon government has appointed you here? So you know who has given me the position of the governor. You had better remember that I take orders from the Babylonian government and not from you or Ishtar's temple. So there is no problem if the high priest of Ishtar's temple in Babylon is informed of this. I will talk to Jacob about this. Tell Jacob if he endangers my family or me, I will set fire to his whole family. The puppy that barks before its parents will soon be devoured by the wolves. You watch your tongue. I forgive you this time. But only this once. If famine destroys my crops, I'll kill Jacob and his family. There's already no hope for a good harvest. Hello, Father. Welcome. Hello, Father. At last, the governor of Haran has time to visit his daughters. Welcome, Father. Will Jacob not stop his troublemaking? What is it, Father? Have the priests of Ishtar's temple complained again against Jacob? You mean the sedition in Haran is the priests doing? And Jacob has done no wrong? We are aware that Jacob does nothing except performing his prophethood duties. Why must he try and change thousands of years of tradition? If he wants to talk about the religion of his grandfather, he is entitled. He can even preach for my whole family. But why insult the people's beliefs? Father, you are mistaken. 
They will not tolerate even his preaching. Jacob is ordained to call all people to monotheism. The religion of both his father and his grandfather. And you are responsible for the peace and security of the people. He is performing his duty, and you perform your duty. You have become obstinate and bold just as he is. If I do my duty, you will find yourselves wandering in the deserts. My sister Leah and I follow our husband's religion, and we will continue to support him in spreading monotheism. Have you all gone crazy? Why don't you think of my position? Do you know what the high priest of Ishtar Temple in Babylon will do to me? If he finds out my nephew is propagating against Ishtar Temple in Haran, I will be the one burning. Jacob's God is mightier than the gods of Babylon temples. We must revere the God Almighty, not the stone gods. I don't care about his God or their gods. I'm just saying Jacob mustn't imperil my position in uh, Haran. Uh, What's the matter, uh, Rachel? Rachel! Uh, uh, the baby! The baby! Rachel? Uh, Rachel! What's the matter, my daughter? Why have you gone so pale? The baby. Is it the time? Bilha, call the midwife. Uh, Help her. What is? Yes, Excellency. Go to Jaden Plains and tell Jacob to come here fast. Hurry! Take my horse! guiding the herd, and being a prophet is guiding the people. Perhaps that is the reason most of the prophets were shepherds. I, Israel, have brought my children to the field with the herd, so they learn how to guide. Why my children, the children of Israel, consider the power and the force the criteria for superiority? I didn't teach them to oppress and bully people. Get up. You, get up. My successor and the head of the family will be the one who loves God more than others do, not the strongest one. Abraham and Isaac were the best, not the strongest. What's the matter? Bring the herd home. Where did father go? It's nothing important. Let's take the herd home. Bilha? Yes? Is Rachel your rival wife? Yes. Are you good friends with her? We were. Both Rachel and Jacob have been kind to me so far. But if they have a baby, I know nobody will be kind to me anymore. Why do you think so? Rachel and Jacob are good people. Jacob loves Rachel very much. 
If he has a baby by her, he'll consider her superior to all his wives. How many wives does he have? Four. You think he'll forget all his other wives? Yes. He'll forget Leah, Zilpa, and me. Hurry. If we're late, I'll be blamed. I don't think so. Jacob is a just and kind man. If instead of being jealous, you are a little kinder to him, he will still love you. Greetings, Excellency Laban. I would give you a dear reward. I want Rachel and her baby safe. I am an experienced midwife, don't worry. God is great and benevolent. Oh. Rachel? 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 She's unconscious. Rachel? 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 What is happening? Perhaps the god's wrath has got her. Look after this child. Pray for Aunt Rachel. God answers your prayers. Why don't you do anything? of blasphemy would first get the infidel, that the one who had insulted the gods would be punished soon. How is Rachel? She is not well, I'm afraid. (laughs) 
do something. Rachel isn't well. Calm down. We have God. And whatever he wills, will happen. People say tauntingly, she's been struck by Ishtar's curse and Esther's sorcery. We shall see whose god is greater and bigger, Rachel and her babies, or Esther's. <laughs> Look after Rachel. I'll return. Where are you going? Don't leave us alone in this situation. Calm down. I need some privacy. Do whatever you want with your god. But I cannot sit by and do nothing. We must do something. A doctor, medicine, whatever. I too am going to a doctor. The true doctor. He has become a nuisance to the people of Harren. To me and my daughters. What am I to do with him? You're right. Excellency Laban, ask Esther for help. She is a very capable midwife. Go and see if Esther will come. I will give her whatever she wants. Tell her that if she saves my daughter, I promise to expel Jacob from Haran and get Ishtar's temple rid of him. Go! Jacob's under a spell by the curse of the Babylon gods. That is the punishment for denying the great Ishtar. You! Keep yourself quiet! Ask Jacob why he doesn't seek help from his own god. If I were him, I would not forget my god when I was in trouble. It was Excellency Laban who sent me. He promised to expel Jacob from Haran if you save his daughter. I think it's a good opportunity. The people of Haran must realize the power of the great Ishtar and the strength of Esther, the great sorceress. If you save Rachel, the faith of the people will become stronger. They will fill here with gold and silver. But Rachel's death brings about the same result. We should let her die. All right. You go and tell the people. Tell them that Rachel dies because of blasphemy against Ishtar. Go and tell them that this is the result of monotheism and ignoring Ishtar. How perfect it would be if it rained when Rachel and her baby died. It would prove the power of Ishtar.
she doesn't gain consciousness, they will both die. Smoke will kill her. know what'll happen in the end if Jacob's God will win or the temple's God will win it's obvious Ishtar will win Laban why are you bothering me with this Jacob says he has a mighty and unique God. Why doesn't he seek help from him? Rachel's life is in your hands. Help her. <laughs> I never imagined that Jacob would seek help from Ishtar's temple so very soon. <laughs> you have quite an imagination. What has led your imagination to run this wild? My wild imagination is about to become a reality when you witness the death of your wife and baby. Life and death are in the hands of God, not the hands of Esther or Ishtar. I asked Esther to come here. Rachel is unwell. Rachel needs nobody except her own God. Leave my house and go. Now, Jacob, please listen. Get out. They will both die tonight. Ishtar's wrath will only abate by the death of your loved ones. My wife wasn't born by your prayer, nor will she die with your curse. People Out. of Aaron! He has mercy neither for you or himself, and his infidelity will cause famine to you and death to his wife and baby. You will soon witness the magic of Esta and the power of Ishtar. Woe on you. If something happens to my daughter, 